The eye of Bandera signals danger. What's going on? This is I of Thundera A22, and I'm bringing to you today the tools you will need to succeed in cracking this game known as Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. We're going to be discussing the way we uh, mod the team presets, that way you can have three of the same character. Alright, let's get into it. Here we have my uh, player license where you can clearly see that I've already hacked into my game and set my three teams using the three individual characters from low tier high hopes uh... for the purposes of this tutorial though we're going to change things around just to demonstrate how they're done uh... so i'm going to go ahead and pick my first random character okay so i went ahead and selected storm and ghost rider as the first and second slots of the first two teams i left the third team as completely iron fist since I already know his values and I know what to look for. So now that we've saved the game, we're going to go ahead and make a copy of that game. Go into the uh, PlayStation 3 save data folder. We're going to go ahead and hit triangle on the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 icon. Select copy and then select your USB device. You can use a flash drive, but I actually just use my Android phone. Uh, works the same exact way when you plug it up with the USB cord. So we went ahead, we copied the folder. I'm sorry, we copied the file. Now it is on our portable device, so we're going to go ahead and move that from the game system to the computer. Before you do that, you just want to confirm that the copy did take place. Just go ahead and access the uh, portable device and make sure that the date and time match up. Now let's head on over to the computer and take care of this. Alright, so we've plugged up the portable device to the computer now. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder if you need to confirm that it's there. Uh, you should have had a folder created on your drive called PS3 and then a subfolder inside of that one for um, games, save data, and also updates. So we're going to go ahead and access the save data and there's the folder belonging for belonging to Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You see the various files included in that folder. We're only going to need one of them and that's the data. So we're going to go ahead and open Brute Force. Uh, link in the description. This is what you're really going to need to um, encrypt and decrypt the file so that you can mod it. Uh, go ahead and open up the folder. Right click on the lower portion of the window and select the data file and you're going to go to decrypt PFD. Once you do that, the next step is to open up your uh, hex editor. I choose HXD which is a pretty good one. Link in the description for that as well. We're going to go ahead and open the data file. And once you do that, it's going to open up a slew of hexes that you need to pay attention to. Um, unlike the Xbox 360 version, the hexes on this file do not go all the way down to 000110db. That does not apply for PlayStation 3. The ones that we need actually occur very early on in the hex, and I'm highlighting them now so that you can see. That is the first preset team slot. That is the second preset team slot. And that is the third preset team slot where you see the character uh, 30 repeating every four, four, four spaces. That's Iron Fist. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate a certain number so that we can make that team entirely one character. Uh, for the first team, I'm doing 29, 29, 29. That character belongs to Storm. For the second team, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do 2A, 2A, and that belongs to Super Scroll. All right, I'm gonna leave the third team as is, uh, three Iron Fists because that's just uh, how I roll, but for all intents and purposes, there is a link in the description as well for all of the characters and their values, but if you don't know the value for sure, just go ahead and leave the last slot in the preset team the character you want the entire team to be and then you can just look for that variable so we go ahead and we save that we exit out of that we go back to brute force and now we have to undo what we previously did by encrypting so we're gonna select encrypt PFD but before we do that we gotta apply a cheat so that the uh, brute force program rehashes the save data so that the PlayStation 3 can recognize that this is very important if you don't do this when you plug your USB back into your PS3 it's gonna say that the file is corrupt and you're gonna have to go back and do this so apply cheat update and then encrypt PFD from there you can pretty much close it and we're gonna head right back over to the PS3 and then we're gonna copy so we access the file copy it's gonna ask if you want to overwrite and you're gonna say yes once you do that the copy is gonna take place and it's time to uh, see the fruits of our labor so we're going to go ahead and get back into the game to check out our newly modded license card and our accessible teams. Alright, and there we have it. Team A is full of Storm, Team B is full of Super Scroll, and Team C is full of Iron Fist. I hope this tutorial really helps you guys. This is definitely um, some new tech to keep Marvel on edge with Ultra's recent release. Uh, I actually have used it online a few times myself and the, the reactions are always pretty fun when you when you get them And with that being said Thanks for watching Shadowland The fight is on Another base life form Avengers assemble it's do or die. Go against me every time I'm in the street. I hear yak, 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 yak. Man down. Where you from, nigga? Fuck who you know. Where you from, my nigga? Where your grandma stay, huh, my nigga? This mad city I run, my nigga. Brace yourself, I take you.